Jen and DJ here at the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing an upper body workout with a warm up and a cool down included. So, for this workout, we're going to be doing 10 exercises performed in supersets, which is two exercises to a set. We're going to do three sets of each superset. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 10 seconds. In between the different groups of supersets, we will then take a 20 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button and let's get to work. Alright, we got about 20 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch and you want to start your workout now, be sure to do so. For our warm up, we're going to do 6 exercises, 30 seconds on, no break in between. For our first one, we're going to start off with body weight squats. So you get your feet about shoulder width apart, weight in your heels, keep the back straight, drop into a squat. Here we go. If you want to put your hands out, that's totally fine. If you want to start off going just a little bit low, and then as you get deeper into the time, working time, start dropping a little lower. And then see how low can you go. <laughs> Not very low. <laughs> Not so much. Not yet. <laughs> Make sure to keep that back nice and straight like that. We don't want you like this. We're not doing that business. We're going to run into arm circles after this. All right, so just, hey, don't be trying to hold hands on me on camera, girl. They can clap. There we go. So start going small and then to large. And my, my reverse. Just kind of swing your arms all about however you feel necessary. After this, we're going to go into good mornings. So we're going to have slight bend in our knees and then we're going to be bending at the lower back. So, bending over at the lower back, feeling it stretch out, and then coming back up. Go at your own pace here. If you want to kind of stay in this bent over position, really stretch it out. Let that back know, we're about to put it to work. What is that? Siri turned on. <laughs> oh, on your watch? On, no, I think it was on the iPad. Oh. There we go. All right, after this, we're going into chest openers right here. So we'll kind of open it up, feel that chest stretch out. If you want, you can kind of bring an arm across, pull it, arm across, pull it, kind of stretch out the back too. There we go. Next, we're going to be going into side bends. One more here. All right, so. Get our feet out nice and wide, and then we're gonna bend over, stretch it out, come back up, go to the other side. Don't forget to breathe. Don't overstretch it. Just so you start to feel a stretch, and then come back. Let's get one more. All right, we're gonna keep our legs nice and wide. We're gonna go into lateral lunges. So dropping down, coming up, switch sides. You don't have to go super low, starting off. Feel everything stretch out as you come down. If you wanna kinda of get a little hold, you can. There we go. Feeling good. Last one. There we go, all right, warm up complete, and now it's time to get to work. <laughs> all right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started. If you haven't started your fitness tracking watch, be sure to do so now. Our first superset we're going to is hammer curls and then clean pull. So let's grab some dumbbells. For reference, I'm using 25 pound dumbbells and 35 pound dumbbells. So for hammer curls, we're going to start here, hands by our side, come up. Notice how we have no wrist rotation here. Palms are facing each other the entire time we come up, just like that. Here we go. That's a bit of change. Going up. Oh, yeah. Before we even start going up. Nice. Good controlled movements. Make sure that when you come down, you're not kicking those elbows back like this. Here we go. Come up. Squeeze the biceps. Come back down. Focus on the biceps. Get that squeeze at the top. There we go. All right, we're 
gonna drop one of our dumbbells. We're gonna go in to clean pull. So for clean pulls, have the dumbbell out in front of you, drop down the knees a little bit, pull it straight up. It's gonna stay nice and close. Here we go. So the dumbbell stays nice and close to your body here. It's not like this. Here we go. We'll stay on this same side for this set. On the second set, we'll switch sides, and then on our third set, we'll switch halfway through. I'm feeling that bicep catch fire. I am. Uh, I know. You love it. One more. Here we go. Going back into hammer curls. Set two. There we go. Coming up. Squeeze. Back down. There we go. Come on, push it out. Come on, squeeze. Let's go. Embrace that burn. There we go. Come on. Go back into clean pulls. Make sure to switch sides. So I was on our left, we were both on our left. Now we're going on the right. Stay on the side the entire time. Here we go. If you want to get more legs into it, you can drop further down. If you want to get more back, then you almost don't drop at all. Just pull with the traps instead. There we go. I feel that bicep catching on fire right now. Come on. Just gonna keep that dumbbell nice and close. Explode up. Here we go. All right, going in. Set three here. Hammer curls. Oh. Don't forget to breathe. If you want, you can get a little hold at the top. Woo! There we go. Come on. Push it out. There we go. Come up, squeeze, and back down. Let's get two more. Come on. One more. You got it. Woo! Clean pulls. I'm going to start on my left side, and then at the 15 second mark, I'll switch to the right side. Here we go. Here we go. Keep pushing. One more, we'll switch. One more. Keep pushing. One more, one more. Here we go. Right, we've got a 20 second break, and then we're going to be going in to overhead tricep extensions and jumping jacks. So, we're ready to try step extensions. Grab some dumbbells. If you want, you can only use uh, one dumbbell. If you're doing both, you can be up here. You can rest them on your shoulders from here. Come up and then back down. Keep those elbows nice and high. As you can see, I'm not dropping my elbows down. I'm keeping them up like that. If you just want to do a single dumbbell, grab it by one of the ends. Come up and over. Just like that. Dumbbell comes down, back behind your head. Here we go. All right, we're going to jumping jacks. So, feet together, hands by the side, come up, low impact, right here like this, just tapping it out, no jumping. Here we go. Stay off the heels and be on the toes. There we go. Push yourself today. Come on. Come on. Woo. Come back into the red tricep extensions. I got the heart rate up. Come on. 
Coming up and up and push yourself. Let's go. Come on. Ten seconds. Come on, you got it. One more. Woo! Good stuff. Jumping jacks. Doing great. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. Keep going. Woo, yeah, set three right here. Keep pushing yourself every single set. Don't give up. Here we go. Coming up and let's go. Come on. Push it out. Woo! Embrace that burn. Oh, it's starting to catch fire. That's what we're talking about. One more, one more. Woo! Great job. Back into jumping jacks. Gotta get a little break. Come on. Let's go. Just because you're doing low impact doesn't mean you're doing low intensity. You can still keep it quick and get that heart rate up there. Come on. 10 seconds. Breathe. Great job. A little break here. And then our next superset, we're going to linear jammers left and then linear jammer right. So grab a dumbbell. Dumbbell on my left hand, my left foot is back. I got this nice little split stance going on. Curl the dumbbell up, palm is facing kind of off to the side. Push straight up, come back down. If you want, drop down at the legs, explode up, help get that dumbbell up. We are trying to go a little faster. But form is more important than speed. So once your form is good, or as long as your form is good, you can go for speed. There we go, switching sides. Dumbbell on the right hand, right foot back. Bring it up, here we go. Use those legs. Oh. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Push it out. Come on. Come on, you got this. Keep pushing. There we go. Set two. Here we go. Left hand. Come on. Burn it up. There we go. Push it out. Let's go. Push. Push. Burn that shoulder up. Oh, shoulders on fire. Oh. Sure, right. I went a little heavier. <laughs> I feel like you can tell. I'm moving slower. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, push it. Come on. There we go. Oh, one more set, huh? 
Here we go, left side. Come on, push it. Here we go. Bam, bam. Come on, wrap it up. You're a machine. Keep going. Let's go. Come on. We got a couple reps left. One more. Woo! Oh. Shoulders are on fire. Here we go. Come on. Boom. Boom. Keep pushing, you got this. Let's go. Let's go. Halfway, come on. You got this. Don't forget to breathe. Keep going. Let's go, don't stop. One more. Oh, that was a fun one right there. All right, next super set we're going to bend over rows, squat to press. So, bend over rows. Slide bend the knees, and we're bending at the hips. Coming up, back down, here we go. Boom. Full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up, squeeze. Sink that butt back. Keep that lower back straight. Come up, squeeze, squeeze. There we go. Come on. One more. There we go, grab some lighter dumbbells. Well, I guess if you're using heavy dumbbells. Squat the press, curl the dumbbells up. We're gonna drop down, squat, come up, press. There we go. If the press is too heavy, then just have the dumbbells by your side, come down, and then up. And you can get a little shrug going there. Just like that. Here we go. Come on. Push it. Here we go, back to the middle rows. Set two. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. Burn it up. If it starts to get too heavy, you can always alternate left and right. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Good controlled movements. One more. Boom. Squat to press. Woo, come on. Your squat doesn't have to be super deep here either. Drop down, up. The squat is literally just to help you gain momentum to push those dumbbells up. Let's go. Push yourself. You got this. One more. A tough one. Set three, here we go. Come on. Boom. Let's go, come on, push it. If you have to alternate, I don't care what you do, just don't stop. Keep working. Let's go. Last one. Here we go. Woo! Squat to press. Here we go. Dropping down. Explode. Get that press. Uh, 
Oh. Keep push. Exhale as you explode up. Here we go. Come on. One more. There we go. Alright. Next super set. We got push-ups. Bicycle crunches. So Dropping down, you can do your push ups on your toes or on your knees. Here we go. Keep that core engaged. Exhaling as you push up. Here we go. Come on. Feeling good. Keep pushing. Let's go. Come on, you got this. One more. Here we go. We're gonna turn around, flip over onto our back, hands behind the head, alternating opposite knees to elbows here. Boom. Boom. If this is too tough, we want you to do some reverse crunches like this. If that's still too tough, right here. Come up, try to get those hips off the ground using the abs. If you're doing bicycle crunch, just try to keep your shoulder blades off the ground. Woo! There we go. Push ups again. Alright, good sweat going on now. Yeah, me too. Here we go. Come on. Good controlled movements. If push ups get too tough, then what I want you to do is drop down, take like a little one second break, push back up. Come down, take a little break, push back up. There we go. Keep pushing. You got this all day. One more. There we go. Bicycle crunches. Push yourself. Here we go, hands on the head. Make sure that you're rotating your entire body. You're not just laying back, moving your arms back and forth. Focus on the core. Don't forget to breathe. Here we go. Alright, set three. Woo! That's feeling good. Here we go. Last set. Come on, push it out. There we go. Keep that core engaged. Let's go. Push it out. Come on. Just got a couple more reps. Let's go. Two more, one more. Yeah, one more. I thought two as I was doing the first one. Yeah. <laughs> now I can buy some crunches. Two minus the one I just did. <laughs> I had to carry the one, you know? The mass a little off. Come on. Squeeze the core. Don't forget to breathe. Ten seconds. Woo! There we go. Ah. Workout. Come late. All right, we're gonna stay on the ground for a cool down now. Ah. My abs are on fire. Alright, so for the cool down, just sit up. If you want to cross your legs, you can. We're going to do a little back stretch. So bring your arm across, put the other one under and over, and kind of pull 
And stretch that back. Take some nice deep breaths. If you want, you can kind of switch it up. There we go. Is it possible to stretch or uh, switch from one side to the other without doing this? No. <laughs> I feel like it's just part of it. It's weird. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Work on controlling that breathing. Good stuff today. That's a good little workout. Switch arms again. I tried not to. I did like a half. <laughs> Stretch it out. Alright, we're gonna go into a seated shoulder extension. So put your hands back behind you. I like to point my fingers away from me, but if you want, you can actually have your fingers facing down towards your feet from here. Have a nice straight back, don't slouch. Uh, don't slouch like this. Keep it nice and straight from here. Scoot your butt down away from you. Stretching those shoulders out. Again, don't let your stomach fold. Keep it nice, nice and straight. When you're trying to check, poke your chest out. Once you feel a nice deep stretch, you can slowly scoot that butt down. Nice deep breaths. If you want, you can kind of sit up and then rotate your hands so your fingers are facing down towards your feet and then the same thing. Sit nice and straight and then from there. Oh yeah, cool Bruce. Getting your nap back on. <laughs> As always. Our workout time is Bruce nap time. There we go. Right, we're going to roll over onto our stomachs and do a seal pose. So stretch out our abs here. So laying down. And then what we're going to do from here, push up. Feel your entire core stretch out. If this is too tough for you, you can just do it on your triceps right here or on your elbows. Just like that, and then slowly begin to push yourself up. Good deep breaths. All right, now we're going to stand up. We're going to do some chest stretches. So if you have a wall, put your hand up on the wall. And then from here, we're going to kind of rotate away from it and let that chest stretch out. Make sure not to overstretch it at first. Slowly turn in or out of or in of this stretch right here. I'm going to say into, but actually turn it away from it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let it, let it slowly start stretching. Because what happens if you just kind of pull into it, all you're doing is pushing your shoulder joint forward. You're not actually stretching the chest, so make sure that you're stretching the chest out. Feel it stretch out. Alright, we'll switch sides. There we go. I actually like to kind of point my fingers straight to the side or even a little down. And I kind of feel it in my bicep a little too. There we go. Focus on stretching that chest out. There we go. Nice little stretch out there. Great workout. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you did, smash that like button. Boom! And we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.